What up chess players and my friends? In this position, the white player has two rooks and black has two rooks as well. So it looks like that type of position that is boring and probably going to be a draw. However, there's a stunning move now that wins the game for the white player and forces black to resign. This move is like a thunder in the middle of a quiet day, arrived from the rage of unpredictable gods in the Olympus, with the noiseless steps of a prima ballerina during the Swan Lake premiere, but the lethal strength of the 1960s Muhammad Ali. What the hell am I talking about? Why to move? Pause the video now, write down your idea in the comment section and come back for the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright everyone, well done for playing the beautiful Rook E to E7. Boom! It's an incredible move. The thing is, black can't take the rook in d7 because of the checkmate. Our king is actually very strong. And in the same way, rook can't take in e7 because of the checkmate next move. Can you see it? Can you see why this is not checkmate already? Yeah, rook goes back and now it's checkmate. So what can black do? Well, if black moves to g8, then rook h7 is mate. If black goes to f8, then check and then checkmate. And if black moves somewhere else, anywhere else, check, check, mate. 